I make $10,000 a month consistently selling my books. And you can too. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Let's talk. Hi guys, it's me. And because of the whole Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course being open, I've decided to make a few videos about Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors and my author journey and becoming an author and how to be successful in authoring and all sorts of things like that. And hopefully there are people out there who might find them useful. Anyway, yes, uh, I have spoken about this at length, but if you didn't catch the crib notes, my name is Roland Hume and I am an author. I write romance novels. I write romance novels under a pen name, Simone Scarlet, and... Um, I have written a pretty successful series of MC romance, motorcycle club romance novels about a biker gang called the Knuckleheads. I've loved writing these books. I'm at book 12 at the moment. And they've been pretty successful. I've sold 68,000 copies of them. I've reached 320,000 readers on Kindle Unlimited. I have made $275,000 in royalties. So I've achieved in my writing career what a lot of people aspire to achieve. I'm definitely not where I want to be. I'm going to be the next lead child. Just watch this space. But um, in terms of a writing career, I have achieved a level of success that I know a lot of people aspire to achieve. And I, um, one of the reasons I make videos about Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course is because part of the reason I feel I've been successful is because of that course. And uh, if you watch this video, and you like what I have to say, and you're interested in Mark Dawson's course, there's a link down below you can click to go and find out more. If you click that link and you buy it using that link, I get a bit of piece of the action, which I really appreciate. That's why I make videos like this. But I'll talk more about that later, because I've got a, a little bit of uh, uh, extra bonus to grease the wheels if you're interested in, in taking Mark's course. But Mark's course, what does it mean in terms of becoming a successful author? Well, that's a story. Um, because the thing about being a successful self-published author is that the the route to success has changed over the years. And uh, the height of where I was at was when things were a lot easier. And now things have become more difficult. And that's why courses like Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors are so much more important. But let me tell you about my career as a writer, because that might explain a lot of what we're going on to. So, um... Yeah, I've wanted to be a writer all my life. My mother was a writer, um, and my grandfather and my great-grandfather were printers and publishers and writers and journalists and ran newspapers and things like that. Writing is part of my DNA. And since I was nine years old, when I was hammering away at my mother's IBM electric typewriter, I have been writing stories. And I wanted to be a writer more than anything. It's always been my identity. I am a writer and I have done a lot of things that aren't writing, but a lot of things that are writing. I ended up getting into copywriting as a career when, because obviously, you know, I was, a, I was a teenager and I was writing all these stories and I was sending them off and I was getting rejection slips. And um, when I moved to America, I continued to write and get articles published. I still have the first check I ever got for getting anything published, um, but I wasn't doing enough to not to be able to avoid having a day job, so I became a copywriter. Uh, it's something I did in the UK as well. I used to write radio commercials, and I came out to America and became a copywriter and wrote advertising copy and uh, joined ad agencies and learned so much about advertising, had a wonderful time. That's why I call myself a digital Don Draper, because Don Draper, of course, was in Mad Men. It was all about, all about advertising agencies, and the advertising agency lifestyle is a thing. It's just, it is an addictive business to be in. And I ended up getting out because I couldn't handle like the, the super late nights and this intense pressure of creating all of this, this um, high octane work. I mean, ad agencies do in a week what corporations do in six months. It's bonkers. But it was a really, really good introduction to like how to sell things and how to advertise things effectively. Um, and all of this time, I was continued wanting to be a writer. And there was always like this roadblock of traditional publishing. So, you know, if you were a writer before the advent of the Amazon Kindle, I think in 2009, 
really kicked off in 2011, I know that. Then the way you got published was you wrote your book and then you wrote your uh, a letter explaining what your book was and you tried to get an agent and then your agent would talk to a publisher and maybe a publisher would pick it up and they give you an advance and they give you 10% of the royalties uh, into uh, forever. And that's the way you got published. And a bit from being an author, it was a terrible, terrible deal because you would get 10% of the royalties for the books that you got sold which generally you would never actually see any of that because your books wouldn't sell enough to pay the royalty that you got from the publisher. And then just getting published in itself was something that only a few, few people ever managed to do. Not necessarily because of the quality of their writing or the quality of their books, but because it was a gatekeepered industry. You had to have an agent to even have your, your um, options like opened by a publisher. And then the publisher would like see your manuscript and they'd stick it on a big pile and maybe they'd read it, maybe they wouldn't. If the first page didn't grab them, they'd just toss it over their shoulder. The chances of getting published were very, very small. And then it was getting worse and worse as time went on because publishers would probably only make money on about 50% of their books. Um, and that meant that they were getting cagier and cagier about bringing new writers on. And they were spending more and more money getting uh, successful writers to write more books or cling to successful writers. Or as they get celebrities they knew would have like public appeal to write books for them. So it was just getting more and more difficult to break into publishing. And then in 2011, the Kindle Direct publishing platform really kicked off. Amazon, which was starting to grow as the online bookstore, invented this thing called the Kindle, which you, meant you could read things online on a device. And it gave people the option of publishing their own Kindle books. And it was a fairly straightforward thing. You would upload your manuscript, your book and a cover, and then you could publish it to Amazon and then people could literally buy it. And that changed everything. That changed everything because people bought and read books using the Kindle. It was a successful experiment by Amazon. And opening it up so people could publish their own books meant suddenly people who didn't have to get traditionally published were able to sell their books. And they did. And I know this because I've been writing my entire life. And one of the things I used to do is write naughty stories. And you might joke about that, but the first check I ever got for a story sold in a magazine was for Hustler Fantasies for $25. And that was a naughty story. So, you know, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for writing and publishing naughty stories. But I had a bunch of them. I had like a hundred naughty stories um, that I put previously on a on a website. I think it was called ASSTR.org. It was like this erotica database that you could go to and people used to read my stories. And then one day in 2013, after seeing people actually making money, with the Amazon Kindle, I was like, I'm gonna try publishing these on that. So I took all my naughty stories off this, this free server and I published them and I made covers in PowerPoint. They look terrible. Oh. But here's the bizarre thing. The first month, July, 2013, that I started publishing my short stories, I made $150, I think it was. And I was like, what? It's like $150, that's, I can honestly say that's pretty much as much as I've ever made from writing in all of the years before then. And I made it all in a month in July 2013. And then I published more stories and I made more sales and published more stories and I made more sales. And I started writing short stories and publishing short stories and I started making more and more and more money. And I was like, this is amazing. This is the thing. I'm able to write and publish stories that make money. Wow. But of course, there were gazillions of other people out there who were like, oh, wow, you can write and publish stories and make money. And for the first couple of years, I stuck very firmly in that niche of writing short erotic stories. And I'm excellent at writing those. And I was excellent at finding my niche. And I did really, really well with it. And I built up an income. And then Amazon brought in this thing called Kindle Unlimited, which is where... Um, you could have your book as part of the Kindle Unlimited program, in which case a Kindle Unlimited subscriber, it's like Netflix of books, you pay 10 bucks a, book, a month, and then you can download for free as many books as you want. And uh, it used to be that if someone downloaded your book, you'd get a share of that Kindle Unlimited money for that month. 
Um, and that was a really profitable way to make money. So somebody like me writing short erotic stories, suddenly I was like making five grand a month from writing and publishing these short stories. It was amazing. I was like, whoa, yeah, baby. I'm finally making it as a writer. Things changed. Amazon moves the goalposts because that's what, that's what they do. And they changed the whole program from you getting paid for every book that somebody downloads in Kindle Unlimited to you getting paid around half a cent of every page of that book that someone in Kindle Unlimited reads. But that's fine because five grand was pretty much the highest level I had achieved writing erotic stories. And I was like, the only way is up, baby. And that's when I started writing romance. And you might think that uh, I'm just being a cynical, money-hungry person moving from writing erotic shorts into romance. But actually, that's not true. I've always enjoyed romance books and female-focused romance books. Two of my favourite writers, two of my most influential writers, are Jilly Cooper and um, Fiona Walker, who write very famous chick lit in the UK. So the idea of writing uh, romance stories appealed to me, and I started writing and publishing romance stories. And these are full-length novels, around 70 to 100,000 words, because I tend to write long books. And the first ones I made weren't very successful, but each one I wrote became more successful and I started to read more romance books and understand what it was that romance audiences wanted. And eventually I got to a stage where I embarked on writing uh, the book that I'm actually editing and about to republish now called Trapper, which was where I found my groove because I wanted to be a writer since I was nine years old. I wanted to write adventure stories and spy stories and action stories with explosions and motorcycles and boats and stuff like that. And that's how I found my groove in self-publishing because I was writing romance books and I knew what a good romance book was. And I wanted to write adventure stories and I knew what adventure stories I wanted to read. And I just mushed them together. And I told adventure stories with explosions and motorcycles and things in the format of a romance story. And that meant it was um, appealing to fans of romance stories and it was also slightly different because it had like the, the, the action adventure elements like really down and that's when I started to become more popular and after I had written and published 11 full length books I published my first best seller and that was a book that exploded in the charts and was making me $500 a day in book sales. And here's the thing, I didn't get there through advertising. I got there by writing a really good book and launching it successfully. And launching it is part of the whole thing about advertising a book. And um, a lot of that I learned from a course I took in 2015 called Mark Dawson's Self-Publishing 101 and another course he did, self uh, Ads for Authors. Those two elements together helped me come up with a launch strategy that eventually helped me publish that bestseller. So I took Mark Dawson's courses in 2015. It wasn't until 2018 that I wrote my first bestseller, but here's the rub. This is why there was a huge gap. It wasn't any deficit in Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course. It was the fact that your Ads for Authors course and your self-publishing 101 and everything you need to do with that only work if you have a book people want to read. And the four year delay between me writing a book and me publishing a bestseller was because I needed to learn the craft of writing and write a book that people wanted. And for me as a writer, there's been no looking back since that point. I wrote a book that people liked and sold really well. And now I know how to write that type of book. And if I have the time and the attention span, and every, all the, the elements in there, I can sit down and I can write a book like that, that people like, but also that I enjoy writing and I really enjoy writing and I'm invested in. And for me, writing that first bestseller changed everything because just like when I got a thousand subscribers on YouTube, it was like, holy crap, I'm reaching people. What I'm doing actually makes a difference. And so that's when I started really throwing everything into writing and creating this book series that I write called the, the Knuckleheads Motorcycle Club series. And I really, really enjoyed writing that. And I feel so privileged to have readers who have followed me along in this writing journey. And yeah, I did really successfully with those books. 
At my peak, I earned over $14,000 in royalties in a single month, and I consistently earned over $10,000 per month from book royalties. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's where you want to be. And I wouldn't have got there without all of the stuff that I learned from Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course and Mark Dawson's Self-Publishing 101 course. However, in my writing career, I was at that lofty peak and it started to get a lot more difficult, a lot more difficult. And the things that I used to do that would guarantee me $10,000 a month were suddenly only bringing in $6,000 a month and then $4,000 a month, and then kind of $2,000 a month. And why? And that's because Amazon, again, moved the goalposts. Just like they moved the goalposts with when we were publishing like Kindle Unlimited stuff, they moved the goalposts in terms of how to get your, scene, your book seen and discovered. And that's because they'd started bringing in advertising onto their book product pages. I think Amazon had kind of like lured us in like a drug dealer giving away free samples for those first few years where every single result you saw on an Amazon page was an organic result driven by algorithms who tried to f connect a reader with their best boss their best possible next read whereas then Amazon was like we can start making money by getting authors to pay us to advertise their books instead of serving up organic search results and it soon came to the point where like 70% of every page you go to on Amazon is filled with ads. And these days, doing what I did to reach the height of my self-publishing career, just publishing really great books and launching them effectively, doesn't work in nearly the same way that it used to because there is so much advertising on the pages, uh, on the Amazon product pages. So it has become a different industry completely a different business if you want to be successful as an author as a self-published author these days you need to learn how to advertise your books and online advertising is really really difficult it's a they've got a really steep learning curve so that's where the value of Mark Dawson's ads for authors comes in because it teaches you how to use Facebook as a platform, Twitter as a platform, Amazon ads as a platform to advertise your book. And that sounds bad. And I know for me, it was incredibly frustrating where something that I was doing that was making me $10,000 a month consistently suddenly stopped producing that income. But the thing was, I had always relied on writing really good books at a fairly vigorous pace. You needed to publish a book every three months to keep that momentum going. With advertising and Amazon now stopping discoverability, sort of organic discoverability in preference to like advertising driven discoverability, that kind of democratizes things a bit. And it is actually an opportunity rather than a negative thing. Because if you write a really good series of books, like mine, for example, and you use advertising effectively, you won't have that huge like $10,000 a month um, on your launch month thing. You won't have like the peaks and then the troughs. What you aim to do is build up a consistent income every single month driven by your advertising. And it's a different ball game and it's a business in a completely different way than the way it was before. It used to be you wrote books and you published books and you were discovered and they made a huge impact on their launch and then you had to write another book. Now you have to write good books. You have to learn how to advertise them and market them effectively. And then you have to pour the money in to do that. And that's the thing that is really, really important to understand. Like if you take Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course, he will give examples of his own advertising in which he admits fully upfront, 40% of my income is spent on advertising. So, you know, he gets like a 100% return on investment. And that's the kind of maths that you need to start thinking about. As a writer at this point, if you want to be a successful self-published author, there is nothing stopping you. But after you've written your books, you then have to sell your books. And that's where a course like Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors comes in. And I really believe that. I say in all of these videos that I publish time and time again, there is everybody, anybody, sorry, anybody can become a successful self-published author. All they need to do is learn the craft of writing and follow the process for successful self-publishing. The craft of writing, I mean, as I said, it took me 11 books before I published my first bestseller. You can probably do it 
in a, in a lot fewer books than me because I'm stubborn. But after that, the process of successful self-publishing. Now that involves advertising. You have to know advertising. And if you've got good books and you understand advertising, then you can make a profit self-publishing books. You can even make a living self-publishing books. But you have to do it. And it has to be a case where you build things up and you might be spending 40% of your royalties every month on advertising. But if you can do that, then you can make a career being a self-published author. There really is nothing stopping you apart from you. And, you know, Mark Dawson says that he spends 40% of his money on advertising um, to, to make the bucket loads of cash that he does. That's him. I mean, for me, I made a video uh, a few days ago in which I said, you know, when I was uh, spending some money last year on advertising on Facebook, I spent $60 and made $600 in book sales. I made like a nine times return on investment. So, yeah, if your books are good and you're reaching the right audience, 40% needn't be the, the expectation that you could be spending 10% and making 90% profit. It's, I know, but you have to do it. And you can learn all of that stuff yourself. And they're always saying, like, oh, everything you need to know is for, available for free on the internet. Well, that's true. But the thing is, if you want to make it as a self-published author, advertising is very specific to that. So the cool thing about Mark Dawson's course is he, as a self-published author, can tell you what works for you as a self-published author. Whereas other stuff about advertising, you kind of have to apply generally. And there are a lot of different nuances about being a self-published author that don't affect other people. I mean, there are people who are making bucket loads of money selling, I don't know, what do they call those e-bikes or those hover bikes that are $400. And so that they can spend $100 uh, on advertising to get $300 back every time they sell one of those. Whereas if you're a writer, you know, you're selling your book for five bucks. So maybe you're going to make four bucks profit or three and a half bucks profit every one you sell. And that suddenly gives you such a narrow margin to work with. So the specific, specific, specificity, the specificness of Mark Dawson's ads for authors course is really, really valuable. And yeah, you can find out all this other stuff elsewhere, maybe, or you can figure it out on your own. But it's going to take you time and you're going to waste a lot of money making mistakes. And I know because I made so many mistakes and spent so much money making those mistakes. Right. And that's where the value of Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors comes in. Because he actually helps you to understand how the process is. So you're still going to make mistakes and you're still going to waste money. But you are at least going to be able to make informed mistakes that you can learn from. Anyway, that's where it's at. So I'm going to wrap this video up. I don't know if anybody's still watching at this point. But yeah, Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course is amazingly valuable if you are serious about making a living as a self-published author. I'm serious about making a living as a self-published author. So uh, that's why I can give it my glowing endorsement. Tell you what, though, if you decide that you want to buy Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course after listening to this, well, use that link down below. And I get a little piece of the action, which is why I make videos like this, because I really try and be honest with people and tell them about the value this course gave me. But I also don't try to like ramp it up or, or tell you things that aren't true. I will give you a little uh, in, in, in incitement, inducement, a little bonus, shall we say, if you decide to buy Mark Dawson's ads for authors course using the link below. I have a course myself called So You Published a Book on Amazon, Now What?, and I wrote that course and designed that course specifically to try and kind of fill in the blanks that I hadn't, I had to discover myself for myself after taking Mark Dawson's course. So if you decide to buy Mark Dawson's ads for authors course using my link down below, a lot of finger action going on here right now, isn't there? Anyway, if you buy Mark Dawson's ads for authors course using that link, I will give you a free copy of my course. So you published a book on Amazon, now what? And hopefully that will work really well in conjunction with Mark Dawson's course and it will help you become successful as a self-published author because that's what it's all about, isn't it? And you know what? There are more people than ever in the world right now. So there is actually more space and scope for telling people what you want to tell them through the written word than ever right now. So 
Don't give up on it. Don't think that it is a frivolous thing to pursue. I made it as a successful self-published author, sold 68,000 copies of my books, reached 320,000 people on Kindle Unlimited, made $275,000 in royalties. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I did that. And I'm sure that there are people watching this video who can also do that or probably eclipse that. And Mark Dawson's Ads for Authors course will help you get there faster. And if you do so, good for you because that's what the world needs right now. Creative people with a voice who want to make a difference. Anyway, I'll wrap this up. Thanks very much for listening. Uh, link down below, you know what to do, and I will speak to you again soon. Ciao. I'm Roland Hume. I've sold 67,000 copies of my books. If you want to find out how I did it, I've got the link right here you can click. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos coming soon. Thank you.